Hi everybody, uh, latest video. Alright, I got two commissions yesterday. I'm going to show you how I lay them out. I'm going to keep it as a surprise until you can see it revealed. I am doing the trusty cellulose or, or lacquer thinner transfer. This is a laser printer image. Just regular A4 sheets of paper, nothing special about them. And I'm transferring this onto a piece of pine. The pine is seven and a half inches wide by I think 14 and a half inches long. And that's come out pretty clearly. All right, so that's the first one. That is going to be a bedroom wall plaque. And the second one is a slightly more complicated one. This is probably going to do two videos again. Let's see if you know what this one is. Now, John Wheeler did one of these uh, the other day um, as a garden. Did a really nice job on it. I'm going to do this one a little bit more, more as a relief, uh, three-dimensional carving. And I'm going to do the steps, steps by how I do this. This is actually my favorite way to carve, because this is going to be a multi-layer sign. The G is going to be one layer. The banner is going to be another, the lion's another, the frame's another, I don't know. Just It's going to be a lot of layers. It's going to be fun. That's had about two minutes. Now before I do anything else with it, I'm just going to show you how it's looking. So you can see a bit of an outline, but I like it a lot stronger than that. So, as always, soup spoon, spoon trick, and you're just burnishing the image. And you'll see how much better that transfer comes out. It is important to wait at least the two minutes though. You have to give the chemical a bit of a chance to react with the uh, uh, laser image. transferred really well. I uh, did have a question the other day on whether you could just leave that like that and seal it. Yes you can. Just let the cellulose centers dry. You could use a good um, uh, acrylic sealant, spray it over it, and you're good. Um, but that's not what I do, I carve it. So, and this is also why I don't use stencils or layout letters or, or patterns like that. If you have a laser printer and a computer and a bit of know-how, you can use a, a, a free download program like Inkscape and you can print whatever you want. You can get the shaping right, you can get everything uh, symmetrical, everything aligned in five minutes. And then print it, transfer it, and you can use that laser printer a thousand times, a hundred thousand times. Whereas with the stencils, it's very specific, it's time consuming. That is how I started, but I've gone on to this. Alright, step one is going to be outlining the letters. This is going to be an outset sign. So I'm going to, these layers are going to be outset, that's inset, that's going to be a nice raised edge. Now my first bit is going to be a 1.5 millimeter spiral bit. These work in conjunction with a collet reducer. You have a quarter inch router, you have a one quarter to one eighth collet reducer, you have the bit, it goes in like that. These are commonly referred to as CNC uh, bits. They're not specifically CNC. Um, you don't need a special type of machine for them, they're just a bit small. They work just the same. Okay, got hearing protection on, eye protection on. 
I'm going to just do the first couple letters and then I'm going to put it on high speed. Alright, that's giving you an idea. I'm going to go into high speed now. Okay, quick outline of those, maybe 10 minutes. Now, uh, these ones are going to be a bit different because I've got lots of little sharp points that my spiral bit will not reach in. So I'm going to do 99.5% of it. Then I'm going to change the bit for a, say, maybe a 15 degree V groove. One eighth of it. See, very fine, very, very, very sharp. And that will get right into those corners.
Okay, I've cleaned out around the letters, give myself a little bit of room to work with. Now I've changed, I'm going to use the 30 degree V groove bit to try to get in those little gaps. Now what you'll see me do is I'll start with the edge out on an angle and I'll slowly drop it in. Okay, so I'm going to give that a sand and see how we look. Alright, I'm happy with all that clean out. Uh, what I'm going to start doing now is removing the background. So I've changed my V-groove bit now to a quarter inch spiral upcut bit, which will uh, take all that out. I'm going to do it in two layers because I don't want to go too deep the first time. It just causes tears. So I'm going to do it about two millimeters and then maybe three millimeters and then three millimeters again. Alright, that is the first set of background clear out done. Now I'm going to take it down another, I'm going to do it one more time. Generally the background clear out uh, can actually be one of the most time consuming parts of the sign. So it took me longer to uh, remove that than it did to actually carve the letters. That is mostly cleaned out now. So I use a one quarter inch, a three millimeter, and a 1.5 millimeter spiral upcut to do absolutely everything you've seen on there. Uh, now a bit of sandpaper and some chisels. Secret to the smooth background is to do the final with chisels. gives you the more planed effect. Really nice smooth wood. Now I'm using uh, straight chisels here. You can do the same thing with gouges. Give it a rippled effect. Uh, I guess it just kind of depends what background effect you want. Just go slow make sure you keep positive control of that chisel because if you slip that's all your work gone Alright, I'm pretty happy with that. Sandpaper, and then I will cut out uh, the shape and put it on my rough paper. Give me a nice smooth edge. 
So I've roughly cut that out with the jigsaw. Now I'm going to use my router again and just smooth up that line to my smooth up that edge to my lines. Okay, so we are all sanded. Now it's just the final take off the bit of the leftover sand on the top and see how we have come out. Alright. There. No, I'm pretty happy with that. Still a little tiny cleanup around the edges. I'll go over that with the chisel. Alright, so that's how to make a storybook sign and how I do my edges. So, uh, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I will add uh, just a picture of the finished one. I'm going to seal it and I'm going to paint the tap letters black. Hope you guys enjoy watching. Thank you.